I want brothers and sisters to think over here. The, the, the way that the prophets were. When they went through hardship, when calamities came their way, who did they first run to? Allah. When we become sick, and when we go through hardship, we call the doctor first. We look for the paracetamol. Where's the Panadol? Where's the headache? I need... After that doesn't work. And then we go to the hospital and the doctor tells us this illness, it's cancer. Then we say people make dua for us. Oh Allah, cure us. The reality of our situation is worrying. Like in Nabiullah Ayyub, the first thing that he did was, he called on to his Lord. Ayyub, when he called on to his Lord. And look what he said. I want you to think and the manners that this Prophet used. He said, Rabbi, my Lord, anni masani yadurru, harm has touched me. Wa anta arhamur rahimin. Ayyub did not ask Allah to cure him. Ayyub did not say, oh Allah, cure me. He just said, oh Allah, I am touched with pain. I am suffering. I'm going through hardship. I've reached a level of pain. Wa anta arhamur rahimin. Oh Allah, you're very merciful. You're gracious. He didn't say, oh Allah, cure me. Why did Allah then say, fastajabna lahu? We answered his dua. The scholars, they took from this. Presenting your situation to Allah itself is a form of dua. To say, oh Allah, I'm going through a lot of hardship. Oh Allah, I'm suffering. Oh Allah, that itself, the scholars, they took from this that it's a dua itself. Nabiullah Ayyub, he said, Masani yadur wa anta arrahamur rahimi. What was the harm that touched Nabiullah Ayyub? Number one, Ayyub, he lost his family. Two, he lost his health. Three, he lost his wealth. Are you with me, brothers? And I want you to think here. This is a Nabiyyum min anbiya illah. Ayyub is a prophet from the prophets of Allah Azza wa Jal. And he has been commanded to convey, convey a what? He was commanded to convey a message. Nabiullah Ayyub was a prophet. If a prophet is ill, and the illness of Ayyub reached a point, my beloved brothers and sisters, that the odor, the smell that was coming from Ayyub was very bad. Ibn Kathir rahimahullah mentions that on his body, Nabiullah Ayyub, there was not even a place that was cured. A place where you can put a needle, Hatta wasn't cured. And he became sick from inside as well. The only thing that was good from his health was his qalb, his heart. That was the only thing Nabiullah Ayyub didn't lose. But his body, every single part of it, it was damaged. And the people, they left his surrounding. Everyone ran away from him. Even his children left him. The strongest opinion is that his children did not die. And his wives, he, they, went, they left his surrounding. Because of his smell, because of his weight. How can a prophet like that convey a message? This is the highest level of test. To be alone. And then guess what happened to Ayyub? He was then taken out of the city because of his health. People found him that his illness is contagious. So they took Nebulah Ayyub and they took him out. And the only person that the riwayat, the cha- when you bring all of the chains of narrations together, the only person who stayed with Nabiullah Ayyub, the only person who stayed with Nabiullah Ayyub was his wife. She remained with him. She stood by him. She even used to leave and she used to work. Some of the narration mentioned she would sell. She would buy products and she would sell it until she couldn't find anything to sell. So what she did was she sold part of her hair. And when Nabiullah Ayyub saw that, that his family has reached this level of faqr, poverty, Nabiullah Ayyub, he said, this dua, Rabbi inni masani yadur wa anta arhamur rahimin. Oh Allah, hardship has touched me and you're the most merciful. 